Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. After exploring Overland Corner Hotel, Australia's third most haunted building, we're now heading to Adelaide. While we wait for parts to arrive after our kangaroo encounter, we'll explore everything Adelaide has to offer. And we're happily surprised by what we find. Come along, join us on the adventure. As always, thanks to our supporting partners and subscribers for joining us on our filthy off-road adventures. Waikari. No, Waikari, wasn't it? Waikari. Oh, Waikari, gosh. yeah. I live in New Zealand for yeah. seven years. I'm still speaking like <laughs> so, I'm Maori vowels, which I still can't say. I hope you can hear us because it is blowing its things off. Um, we There's a really nice, this was all undiscovered. We didn't know this was here. So we've just come across a really cool ferry ride. Um, uh, specifically to come and check out the silo, aren't? I'm glad we did. It's I incredible. Know. And the ferry is free. The so ferry is free, yeah. If it's... you actually, you know, go to the Noosa River um, yep. ferry, the Mogul ferry in Brisbane, they you all have cost. to pay. Yep. This one was free. It was free, so and really good. So um, then there's this. Once again, we didn't know anything about this. There's the cliff top walk. Um, it looks incredible, but honestly, it is bitter cold and it is blowing. It's Wellies off. It is really, really cold. It's just this polar blast that's coming through. So, um, as much as I want to do it, I'm just really, well, we're both really uncomfortable and she's still pissed. Um, <laughs> she'll probably fall down. So, look, if you do come through Waikari, um, Waikari, sorry, uh, definitely stop in. We're going to come back here for sure. I know. SAE is definitely something that I've not done any exploring in. Uh, and Lisa's, she's really smitten with the place. Yeah, this is lovely. So, um, we're definitely going to come back here, but we'll come back in the new van when we've got time and we're not having to rush around, uh, especially trying to get fixed bits for the car. Yeah, but the thing is though, when you stop and think if we're going to go to a caravan park, we can always do a bit of a tiki tour back up here. Yeah, well it's not far, it's only what, mm -hmm. two and a bit hours from, Bris uh, from Adelaide. From Adelaide, particularly if the park's going to be Monday. Yeah, if it ends up being Monday, I think it's definitely worthwhile for us to come back up. Anyway, I'm going to get back in the car. It's cold. <laughs> With the weather not improving, we decided to hit the road and head straight to Adelaide. Since we've got some unexpected time there, we're going to make the most of it. Okay, so hopefully you can hear us. Hear us. We've um, turned our back to the wind. Um, we've made it to Adelaide, we're actually at Semaphore. Hopefully we've pronounced that correctly. Our outback trip has turned into a beach trip. Beach trip. Look, we're probably going to leave you here tonight and um, basically it's pretty cold. The wind has come through from this front so it's pretty damn cold. So we're probably just going to turn in and uh, have an early night and then we'll basically uh, see what we can find in Adelaide tomorrow. I know, driving through the buildings are amazing. Yeah, so. some incredible buildings, so looking forward to that. Sorry, one second. I'd love to be able to get some. I'd love Dogs. to be able to get some photography of the buildings. The architecture here is amazing. Yeah. Look, we'll definitely go and check it out. Um, we'll spend a fair bit of time. Look, we could have up to four days here. Um, actually, five days here. We'll uh, we'll have to wait and see. But like I said, we'll uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Caught behind the Venetian blinds Had to reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong Ain't looking me, mind what I become We had a massive storm last night 
to the point where I actually was thinking about how I can protect the cameras if the actual tent ripped. Anyway, um, the results on the beach are very apparent. Um, have a look at this uh, kelp, I'm assuming it's sea kelp. It's a good, I don't know, four and a half feet thick. It's, um, well, it's considerably taller than the dogs. Uh, it's all been washed up. It's very apparent the storm damage uh, along the beach last night. So let me go along and I'll grab some footage for you. Be our models for size comparison, girls. It's just a little bit taller than you, Dumpy. It's just a little bit taller than you, isn't it? Wow. The swell must have been massive. And the majority of the concentration is just off this rocky shore, so whether that was channeling it or protecting other areas, I don't know. Incredible. Unfortunately, I've only got my action cam with me today, but look, I doubt you're going to be able to see it, but there's this rocky outcrop out here. And there's actually a seal on it. It's the first time I've ever seen a seal in the wild. There's definitely one on the end there, and there's possibly one just to the right of the sign. But I just can't, um, I can't 100% confirm the one next to the sign. But that is definitely a seal there. He's sitting with his head up. That's so cool. I just wish I'd brought the better camera. Might see if I can get Lisa back here with her big long lens. And I've just found out that this beach, up until 10 o'clock, is off leash. So guess what, girls? You wanna see some crazy? Go, go, go! <laughs> Out of the water! It's too cold. So I don't know, I've got a little bit closer, but just on the end there. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it or not, but just on the end you can see the seal, they're sitting there baking in the sun. That is so cool. I've been running east, looking for sunset, digging deep since now. Oh man, it's cold. <laughs> uh, we're at Mount Lofty Summit. Um, no idea what's here, but it's freaking cold. And it's um, cloudy and it's like, rainy and we probably yeah. won't be able to see anything, but here we are because <laughs> we're tourists. <laughs> yeah, so uh, let's see what we can find out, eh? It looks sharp. Oh, don't. Let's find out. I think it's time for me to go Burn all bridges all I know, I got lost along the way, fell between the foam, pulling the stitches, time to let go, so come what may. Don't look before you leave. Oh, it's not as bad when you're going with the wind in the back. Yes. So the Queenslanders can't actually stand the cold, so we literally have got three seconds of footage and one photo, and a vegan hot chocolate, vegan hot chocolate and another hot chocolate. So and uh, we're out of here. We're gone. Look, it's a bit overcast. It's still really pretty, and um, the cafe is beautiful. I'd, yeah. If we had more time, I wouldn't have mind having um, something to eat there. But we're going to go and see what we can find down the bottom of the mountain, or even what's that another town we're going to? I don't know. The German sausage place. Yeah, German sausage place. Apparently, you can get German sausages for the dogs. So. Um, we don't eat sausages, but the girls will. Yeah, says the, the plant-based person here. Let's go yeah. to the German sausage place. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's head down, but it's, it's bloody cold. Um, very cool up here. Just be aware you can't take your dogs out of your car. Um, but the bandicoots. Um, yeah, bandicoots, which so is... The Southern Brown Bandicoot. So the Southern Brown Bandicoot is one of the nationally endangered um, animals and it's the only bandicoot remaining on man, mainland South Australia of the eight species, including the bilby that existed 200 years ago. So that's a very good reason that... You keep your dogs well away. Yes. Don't look before you leave What 
to give, you get to keep. So long, farewell, bye bye. Let's have a toast for those lost old eyes. And my crooked little heart that seems so rebellious is falling apart. We've just walked the streets of Harmdorf here in Adelaide Hills and oh my god, it's a place to die for. It's there is awesome. so much stuff. I think so we've, pretty. Yeah, we've bought kilos and kilos of chocolate and fudge and the clothing stores are amazing and there's all these little knickknacks and some really amazing German um, toys. Yeah, it's incredible. Um, it's a beautiful town. It's yeah. done like a, a an actual German country town. It's it's absolutely beautiful. The architecture's gorgeous. People are really friendly, everyone's, it's just a really good vibe. Yeah, unfortunately, it's just bloody yeah. cold. Unfortunately, it is too cold or else we definitely would have stopped to eat here. The town is so dog friendly. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, heaps of cafes that you can bring your dogs to eat. It's just too freaking cold. Yeah, because- In fact, we thought it was sleeting at one stage. Yeah, because it's, um, <laughs> unfortunately, as always with restaurants, you've got to have the dogs outside, so that's great. But it's just too cold to sit outside. It's just, if it was inside, you could have the dogs inside, we'd eat here. Yeah, definitely. Um, but let's go and get some hot chips now. Let's go. <laughs> so we just got the call. How cool is that? Finally, the mirror's here. And full credit to Adelaide GP. Like, the communication wasn't the best, but they got it for us in the minimum time they said they could get it for us which is unreal yeah, yeah. um it is four o'clock on the thursday but hey that means we can pack up tonight or pack up first thing in the morning and be on the road early hey yep we just need to work out what we're going to yep. do now the par out to halligan bay is still shut however the road out to post level bay is still open now the funny thing is about lake air the water gets pushed around with the wind. Because and, it's so shallow, hey? And ironically, this cold front that has us absolutely friggin' shivering um, may actually do us a favour and push the water over towards um, Level Post Bay. Level Post Bay, which is ironically, that was actually the first place we were going to go um, on this trip, wasn't it? That was the first place because it's on a um, pastoral development road, isn't it? It is. But it's, um, it, is. it actually got closed off for a while. Yeah, yeah. But who knows? I would prefer to go to Halligan Bay. Yeah, same um, here. And that's that's still our preference. And it's the most likely we've got of seam water. Yes. But honestly, like I said, we're going to have a conversation. My personal opinion is we send it. Yeah. Um, I just reckon we send it. And at the end of the day, there's still other things that we want to do, isn't it? Like the Painted Desert. We're going to be doing the opposite way to what we were going to be doing it. Yeah. We, do the you know, the painted desert. We can still do the Unadatta again from the start to finish, or complete it all the way, not just partially. 
and then we still get to go and camp at Farina, which is cool. Oh. And then more importantly, we get to go. Oh, okay, maybe we won't get to camp there. So at this stage, no Lake Torrens. I don't think we'll get to the breakaways. I think we're going to have to drive past or either drive through and just stick 360 out the window. Um, no Warren Gorge, which was another hike I wanted to do, so that's gone. We may have to uh, reduce the amount of days we stay at Martin's Well. And Kids, we actually may not even get to Lake Eyre at this stage. And we may have to reduce our time in Cooper PD. We may just have to get to Broken Hill and instead of going through the Stewart Desert um, and up the Silver Highway, we may just have to leg it home because damn this full-time work for a living. It's terrible. We actually, like I in particular, have to get back to work, which, yeah. I have an extra week up my sleeve and I've got it full already with, with uh, sadly, I don't know if we mentioned it, this is our last trip with our camper. So... Um, once I get back, I've got basically a week to, well, I don't have a week, but I've planned the week to just get it cleaned up, recode, ready to go, and pop it on the market, because obviously we're not, we're well, still a little bit away, but we're not that far away from the from the recon, so we figured do that, we don't have to rush then, hey? Yeah. And it's, yeah. to us, it was a bit of a cool way to farewell it, too. We've had some pretty cool adventures in it. We have. Honestly, it's a great camper, and... Anyone who buys it is going to get a great camper. Yeah. It's a great introductory way to camper trailers. So if you're interested, reach out to us at filthyoffroadadventures at gmail.com and we will uh, answer your inquiry. But yeah, getting I'm the mirror. I'm a little excited about a mirror. I can't believe it. You're excited it. about the mirror. I'm more excited about going to Harbour Town, Adelaide to RM Williams after we pick up yeah. the mirror. The mirror is actually slowly leaning back, and I've actually got no more adjustment. I've got it all the way up, but it's just slowly falling back more and more. So I'm going to go to Harbour Town, Adelaide, and Matt's going to install the mirror in the car park of Harbour Town, Adelaide. That sounds wonderful. No, that's not safe. I know. He, <laughs> yes. If only he wasn't with me at, um, at uh, what town were we just at? Um, Hands off, no. Oh my gosh. Where's the Here's badge? my dementia moment. Adventure badge? before dementia. Where's um, the badge? <laughs> that lovely little German village. Um, oh my god. Something Dorf? Han Handorf. Handorf. Um, there were some places there I wish I didn't have my husband at the door because then I couldn't tell him how much how <laughs> the half price goes. <laughs> anyway. Alrighty. Off we go. We're, That's right. we're starting to waffle money that week again. When we get back. Do you guys like us waffling? Oh, I don't like us waffling. We sound like idiots. Anyhow, <laughs> that's the true us. <laughs> Off to get a mirror. You are a legend. Thank you. You don't know how much. Thank you for finding it though, because honestly, we were getting struggle with accommodation, so that was yeah, awesome. Yeah, that was my biggest issue for you too. I didn't want you to. Sort of, no, no, I meant that. Adelaide's a lovely place, but I didn't want you to stay with the weekend. Mate, we'll be back. Yeah. Because it's the first time we've been to Adelaide, so we'll definitely be back. Yeah. It was unreal. Yeah. So, um, Guessing you've done a fair bit? Well, not really, only two days, but. Oh, um, okay, yeah. But we'll, um, we're basically, we're supposed to be at Lake Air, so. Yep. We'll head That's straight out now. Lovely place as well. Yeah, we want to see the water, but unfortunately, um, uh, Pel uh, what's the, what is it, Bay? Pelican Bay. Pelican Bay is still closed off at the moment, the PDR. Okay. So we're hoping by the time we get there, it's reopened. Yep. And then we're going to go yeah. and do some work at, um, at Flinders and stuff like yeah. that. Oh. So we've lost, we've lost four oh, days. Yeah. We're close enough to a week because of this. Yeah. But um, definitely right. Awesome. Yeah. It looks like I'm fitting something in the car park right here, bro. Yes. It looks that way. <laughs> in the car park. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Yeah. See ya. Yes, thank you. Alright. No Appreciate it. Now, like always, check parts. Look at that. Brand new. Look how easy that is. Three bolts and a pin. That's it. What about the electricals? It plugs in there. Okay. So just unplug it out of the old one, plug it into there, four bolts, three bolts are and you're done.
But as anyone who's watched the channel and saw the suspension, that's why you always check before you leave. Save yourself a trip home. Well, in this case, it'd be another week, wouldn't it? <laughs> We'd drive to Melbourne. Yeah. <laughs> well, you'd probably get it quicker. Awesome. Yeah, the kangaroo, first one went through. Big red. And then, yeah, big red. And the yeah. second one, which is obviously girlfriend, as big, big, but not as big. She's just crushed this. Yeah. This is all just broken up and then just smashed the mirror and it was hanging down. Right. So. The snorkel as well. Yeah, the snorkels all smashed up. Oh, shit, it is too. So, that, there's no way in hell I'm going to get that fixed. But it's, it's actually, it's that's bad. good. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's solid. The original. Yeah, that's solid. Yeah, well, because there's always a bit of movement in because they're yeah, still, yeah. they're just plastic. Yeah. So that's, um, but this is all smashed as well. So I'd, that wasn't going on until we got to the dirt, but all the grate that's on there, yeah, it's yeah. just all smashed all out. Smashed, yeah. So I just wanted to thought, mm, just in case. So yeah. Okay, let's get this uh, changed out. Let's go.